Hello everyone, today's video is about my hiking experience in Ghana. So I went for a hiking trip recently with a group called Ghana Mountaineers. Uh, it's a group which organizes a lot of outdoor activities here in Ghana and it's quite active. If you're in Ghana, you can probably register with them and do some outdoor activities. So I went on a hike with them recently to Abutia Hills. Uh, it's about 14 kilometers to and fro and not a very difficult hike pretty good for starters, for beginners. So in this video today, I'm gonna to share with you how the hike went from the beginning till the end. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope um, you would find it useful if you're around in Ghana. We started off early from the airport residential area at around 5.30 am. The good part about the arrangement was that the Ghana Mountaineers team was there to pick us up right from our doorsteps, making it very convenient and hassle-free for the participants. It was a long journey towards the Abutia Hills, about 90 minutes or so on the bus till the drop point where we'd start the hike. The ride on the highway was quite smooth and we passed some small towns and ample greenery until we reached our final stop. The first task at our stop was to fuel ourselves. So we had a small bush breakfast arranged by the Ghana Mountaineers. The breakfast consisted of coffee and Danish rolls, which was claimed to be the best south of Sahel. Well, best or not, I did fill myself up with it because I was kind of hungry and it was a long journey ahead. As we started off, uh, we were given a word of caution that we should be carrying at least three liters of water for the journey. Well, I couldn't agree more because I'm used to running in these parts and whenever I go for my long runs, I do end up drinking a lot of water and you would be better off with water than without it. So if you're going on a hike with Ghana Mountaineers next time, please make sure you carry enough water. It was quite pleasant early in the morning, but as the sun began rising up, it started getting hotter. Already 28 degrees. The terrain was quite flat and we moved swiftly forward until we reached our first break point. We found some shade under a bush and stopped to take a breather. Well, there is something about the open, wide, vast grasslands that makes me really happy and I couldn't contain my joy just to witness this open grassland right in front of me.
I took a moment here to try and step away from the realities of my life and just listen to the wind and the birds in the distance. It was blissful. After a bit of a rest, we were off again on our journey towards Abutia Hill. By now, the group was getting to know each other a little better and there were many interesting conversations that were going on. The group was composed of people from many different countries. US, UK, and a lot of European countries, and also from Ghana, Lebanon, and I am an Indian, of course. After a long walk along the plains, we finally came to what looked like the foothills. From here on, the hike became somewhat steeper as we began cutting through the hills. But by most hiking standards, this still was quite easy. We had to cut a bit of a path for ourselves and it began looking more and more interesting. I like adventure. As a kid living in the hills of Assam back in the 90s, I used to do things like these very often and it brought back childhood memories. After we were able to cut through the small patch of jungle, we reached an open place where we had a bit of a stop, refueling ourselves with water. Once again, from the top, the view was amazing. And soon we were off again. The road was mostly flat again until we reached the base of the Abutia Hill. From here on, we had a short hike upwards to the place where we'd be finally doing a barbecue lunch. Water supply. Okay. That is the water supply. Yeah. Okay. 
Fulani live here, eh? Yes, sir. A lot of Fulani. They're taking cow, the cow. The cow yeah. Where are you from? I'm from India. Eastern part, Assam. If you've been there, no. you would. Okay. Usually you don't see people from my side, which is the eastern part of the country. You only see people from Delhi, Mumbai, or the, or the southern parts. You're from Italy? Okay. I love the food there. Sorry? I'm a big fan of Indian food. <laughs> yeah, but Indian food is like. Uh, I'm sure you would understand. It's different from different oh, yeah, yeah. parts of the country. We are good. Yeah. Good. Great. And then, um, those who want to go on the big one, we go. We want to stay here and then because we all come back here and then. Meet the okay. Uh, you want to go on the big one? You leave your bag back here and then we go on the big one. Okay. Big one is not far, right? It's yeah, just it's it's that one. Enjoy with my niece. But there are lots of shade here, so you can come here. The view from the barbecue spot was beautiful. And from there on, we had another hike to the bigger hill. Okay. The jungle was a little bit more dense on this part of the hill. So we had a little bit of trouble navigating through the foliage but we had with us Sam who was very experienced and had no trouble cutting through it and making a path for all of us. Wow. We had finally reached the top and the view was breathtaking. The white plains were so vast and miles down the horizon there was nothing in every direction. I could imagine how quiet it would feel if I could simply exist here like this flower here in harmony with the nature around. But that wasn't possible at the moment, so I took a selfie instead and we moved on in life. Wow. We moved back towards the barbecue joint to enjoy a nice meal. I'm going to take some videos of the food. 
hope that you're cooking. Nice. What is that? This frog voice and me too. While the food was being prepared, I spent some time talking to some of the fellow hikers, learning about what they do and why they were in Ghana. And then I spent a lot of time alone, just looking at the horizon. Sometimes it is best to be alone and let the wind blow into your face while time goes by and you know you have no control over it. After our food was done, we started our return journey. We took a slightly different route, but it took us almost the same amount of time. By now, the heat had sort of caught up with us and we were really in need of some amount of refreshments. Well, personally, I was thinking about a chill beer all along this way. On our way back, we had one stop to have some water. Well, it was very much needed. We also chanced upon a Fulani guy who stopped to greet us and we had a very interesting conversation with him as well. It was at this point that I was informed that Sam, who was our guide, was also an Accra Marathon podium finisher. He is a really fast runner. And then when, when he did the calculation, it was like 25 kilometers. So meaning I do 25 kilometers every day. Every day. Okay, then you can do the um, full marathon. But in the beginning, I didn't want to do it. I said, okay, if I can, I'll just join the bus and then. <laughs> so he registered me. And then, luckily, when we started, I was second. Wow. Yeah. And then it took me three hours, 40 minutes. For the for the full marathon, yeah. yeah. So that's how I developed without it. without any prior, previous uh, no, dedicated no, training, no, no, nothing. Without any, no, no. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. So the next, uh, the following year, I just started again, and then that one I also became second. But the time was better than the previous year. Yeah. And then um, I was on it. Then the full year I was third. And then last year I was second. But uh, I was I got injured on the, um, some parts when hmm. after the 10, 10, 35 kilometers I was I got some injuries. So I have to like walk and run a little bit, walk and run a little bit. And I was I was third rather. That was last last year I was third. Yeah. So that's uh, <laughs> that's very impressive. Yeah. <laughs> It was very impressive of Sam to have competed and gotten a podium finish even without any prior marathon preparation. So I was really impressed. So for this year's Accra Marathon, I'll be on the sidelines cheering for Sam again. I hope he wins this time. After some more walking, we finally reached our vans where we changed into some fresh clothes and then we were off. On the way back, we were supposed to have a stop for some drinks. And by drinks, I meant chill beer. After a couple of rounds of drinks and a lovely conversation with everybody, we headed back home. It was time to call it a day. It had been a great day hiking outside in Ghana for the first time. The Abutia hills are not so far away from Accra and they are very easily accessible. So I think anybody who wants to start an outdoor activity in Accra could join this activity very easily. And Ghana mountaineers are very good at organizing these kind of things. So overall, I really enjoyed the day outside with the team 
and I would recommend it for anybody, anybody who is new to Accra and anybody who wants to hang out and meet a good set of people outside. I would recommend that you join this hike and be a part of a lovely experience. So that's it from me today. Thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments.